Hi, I'm Mark Cooper, and as a gastroenterologist, I perform well over a thousand colonoscopies a year, and these are five things I would never do before colonoscopy. Foremost, I would not leave the prep unfinished. I wouldn't go to a dermatologist after working in my garage covered in grease. I would first take a shower, because otherwise, how are they possibly going to see skin lesions? And the same is true for me as a gastroenterologist. I need you to clean out the inside of your colon by completing the prep. Patients will sometimes ask if they have to do the whole prep when they've been having diarrhea. And I get their thinking, if you're having a lot of loose stool, can you really have that much still in you? But you can, because you continue to make digestive juices and bile, and this coats the lining of your colon, and so I don't really get a good view until after you've done that full prep. Next, and this may even be a bigger one, I would not lie about the last time that I had something to eat or drink. If you eat the day before your colonoscopy, you're going to ruin your prep because all of that food is going to be coming down into your colon right at the moment that we're doing the procedure, and it's going to make for a very bad visualization of your colon. An even bigger thing for your safety is to not have a drink shortly before your procedure because water is going to sit in your stomach, and if we provoke nausea during your colonoscopy, you could throw that up. And while it went down as just water, which seems harmless enough, it's coming back up rich in stomach acid that will really damage your lungs if it enters your lung in an event called an aspiration. We do not want you to get an aspiration pneumonia. Third, I would never go into a procedure with a full bushy beard. Now granted, I never keep what anyone would mistake for a full bushy beard, but to add to the list of reasons why, which begins with an inability to grow one, is that it would not be safe for an anesthesia complication. If you were to stop breathing during deep sedation, then we may need to maintain your breathing with bag mask ventilation. And to do that effectively, we need to form a tight seal, which a full bushy beard is going to encumber. Fourth, I would not worry if the doctor finds polyps. A colonoscopy is meant to be a cancer prevention procedure, just as the flu vaccine is meant as a medication that prevents the flu. Colonoscopy is very effective at finding polyps and removing them. And if that polyp could have become a cancer after we've plucked it out of you, it no longer can. So finding polyps is a good thing because we're able to take care of a small, simple problem long before it becomes a big, scary problem. But like weeds, polyps can regrow. And so you gotta keep weeding your garden and we're gonna advise you of when to return for your next colonoscopy. Finally, I would not be upset if a diagnostic colonoscopy does not identify a reason for change in bowel habits or abdominal pain. Instead, I would be reassured that we have crossed off the list some of the more concerning diagnoses that we could have found. It's reassuring to know that you don't have inflammatory bowel disease and that your problem is not because of a cancer. And it's helpful to rule these out so we can identify other problems that might have their solutions and simpler medications and lifestyle changes. But those changes take focus, focus that could be difficult to have when there's a looming question if you could have a more serious diagnosis. So when you get a reassuring result that everything looked normal, then that means we can get to work on focusing on solving those other problems. I hope you found this list of five things I would never do as a GI doctor before having a colonoscopy helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel for future editions of things that I would never do.